Hello and welcome to Tips and Tricks with Polyson. Today I want to show you how to simulate uh, two module fields in Polyson. First, we start uh, the Polyson Design Wizard and uh, choose a location from the map. For that, I want to choose uh, Potsdam in Germany. I go ahead with Continue, and here you have the possibility to choose uh, more than one collector field. Uh, in this case, we have the possibility to go with one or two collector, two or three collector fields. Um, we want to go with two because we have an east and west facing roof. Let's continue. We go ahead, and uh, we need to choose our module type first. Um, I'm going to go with the IBC 200 mega line module. So this is 200 watt peak module. So orientation for our east roof will be 90 degree. We can see it here from the picture. We have a tilt angle of 35 degree. And totally 21 modules fit on our roof. For the inverter, we want to go with the Fonius inverter and uh, the 3.0 inverter will suit very well. We choose this one and we need to define our cable losses and usually we have 1% cable losses. In the next step all the input data will be verified and the validation looks very good. That means our inverter fits well to our 21 modules. It's the same we type in for the rest facing roof. Again we go with the IBC and we have this time an orientation of minus 90 degree that is west facing tilt angle is again 35 degree and again 21 modules fit on our roof as inverter we go also with the Fonius IGTL 3.0. Cable losses are also the same, 1%. And in the validation we find that all values suit. So we are going to accept the input data and start the simulation. Now we got the first results of our simulation. And we can see that we have a total yield DC 6850 kilowatt hours and 6614 kilowatt hours uh, AC. As the next step, I want to show you how to uh, change the system so that we still have an east west facing roof, but now we want to use just uh, one inverter. For that, we copy the existing system. and uh, we can delete the first uh, array. Next up, please double click on the existing array and here we change the number of modules from 21 to 42. Uh, and the next step, we need to change the inverter layout from wizard to manual. That means we can decide which inverter we want to use now and uh, here we need to go for inverter which is an inverter with two MPP trackers. Uh, Siphonius is as one of these inverters and so we want to go with Siphonius. Here you can see the layout for uh, A. It's uh, the MPP tracker number A. We have one inverter, that's for everything. Uh, we have one string, so it's the first MPP tracker with 21 modules. Uh, so orientation will be 90 degree east facing, tilt angle still 35 degree. The second MPP tracker is also existing, that's why we need to type in one. 
we have again 21 modules and the orientation is minus 90 tilt angle 35 degree after we typed in these values we can click here to go to the wizard again and uh, to uh, go to the validation to check out if everything is still alright and it looks very good so we can click on accept confirm our data with ok and start the simulation on the results again now our results with just one inverter are slightly different if you want to compare to the first variant you can click on uh, the first one and uh, define it as reference then we go to the second one result result overview and here you see immediately both results in in one table in this case we can see that uh, two inverter system is a little bit worse than the system we have with just one inverter and two MPP trackers. With the results I want to end my presentation and want to say goodbye.